Hi everybody, this is Scott Widenkiewicz from Photocrati and Next Gen Gallery. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a watermark to your photographs or your images in Next Gen Gallery. So the first thing to do would be to open up the Other Options tab. So it's right here, the Other Options in the Next Gen Gallery settings. It'll bring you to a page like this, which will show you all the options that you have for Next Gen Gallery. We're going to skip down to this part of the accordion called Watermarks. And in it, it'll show you a preview image. Okay, so this is a starter image to get you going, to show you, to preview what the, what the uh, watermark would look like. And then here you have, how would you like to generate it? So do you want to do text or an image? For this purpose, I'm going to just show you text. The position is where you want that watermark to show. And for this purpose, I'm going to put it in the center because it'll be the easiest way to demonstrate where it'll go. You then have offset for width and, uh, and the height if you want to offset that as well. I'm going to keep it in the center. I'm going to refresh the preview just real quick and you'll see that my name will show up here. Scott Wine Imagery shows up, uh, which is the uh, you know what I had it set to at one point, so it saved that. And you can see it's blue, so I can go ahead and I can even scroll down. I can change that. Um, we can make that change the um, you know make that uh, the opacity a little bit less. Uh, I want to go down actually. Let's go down to 70 make the font even bigger if I want to, and then we can hit refresh again. And there we go. So that's how you do it with, with the text. So that's how you actually create the watermark and save it. You can also do it with an image. With an image. You basically upload an image somewhere on your, on your server and put the URL right here of the image, and then it'll do the same thing. You've got the position and the offset for the image, and you can refresh and see that how that works. And then when you're all set, you hit save. And what it'll do is it'll bring you back to the uh, you know, refreshes other options page back to how it was when you first went to it. Once you're all set and your watermark is saved, all you have to do in order to add the watermark is go to your manage galleries, okay, which again is right here. So here's your gallery and manage galleries. And then choose the gallery that you want to add the watermark to. So I'm going to select the first one, bulk action, set watermark, and then you hit apply. That's all you have to do. It'll go through and it will add the watermark to your photographs, not to the thumbnails, but to the actual photographs that are being displayed on the front end of your website. That's how you add watermarks. Very straightforward. If you have any questions, let me know. Uh, I'm happy to answer what I can. Thanks for watching.